So Pete, if I'm using a vSAN witness uh, appliance or host, uh, so I have a two node cluster or a stretch cluster, um, and that fails, or maybe I want to do an upgrade, what are, what are my options for kind of re rebuilding that? Do I need to back it up? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, one, uh, th I'll answer the last question first, which is no, there's no need to really back that witness host appliance up because it's not going to do you any good. So why back it up? Um, the You really have two choices when it comes to, to any sort of upgrades or replacing the witness appliance. That is the process of building up a brand new witness appliance uh, and just using the UI or the CLI to replace the existing witness host appliance that is in use. That's, that's what we found really to be the most effective method for doing any sort of replacement and or upgrades. Now you can upgrade the witness host appliance um, just as you would any other ESXi host uh, that, that is physical, but of course the witness host appliance is virtual. Uh, but we find in most cases, in order for you to get to that desired state, it's just simply easier to replace that witness host appliance. So that's the direction that I would uh, recommend generally in, in most cases. Now, there may be situations where uh, one is more advantageous than the other, depending on the circumstances and the, you know, the business requirements. But uh, for the most part, that would be the way that I would recommend going. No, that's, uh, that's a good option. It's good to know that it's really just one click away from replacing too. So 